We first saw Grand West Transportation in early 2013, subsequently invested in a seed round and again in its IPO, which was well oversubscribed and completed last December. The vicinity is its flagship urban mass transit vehicle. After five years of uh, engineering, design, and road testing by BC Transit, including during the Winter Olympics, Grand West secured its first order and delivered $3.8 million in buses to BC Transit last August. This past February, the company announced another $3.8 million in orders from other agencies for 15 vicinities, 12 of which were for Quebec. Uh, the company founders poured several million dollars of their own money into this company to make the vicinity a reality. The key, cash, key question now is how quickly can the order book build? Uh, tonight you're going to gain a perspective on that and the amount of intense marketing that's been going on over the past year right across this country. Grand West has 39.2 million shares issued, the market cap's approximately 16 million. Uh, first, I'd like to introduce uh, the CFO, John Sutherland, who's in the audience through the glare. John. And uh, William Trainer is the CEO of Grand West Transportation. He's going to speak to the company's vision and his belief that Grand West is very, very close to the inflection point. Hello, my name's William Trainer. I'm president and CEO of Grand West. Yeah, we are a bus manufacturer and public transit is the opportunity. Canadian transit agencies are modernizing their fleets by replacing traditional 40-foot buses and smaller cutaway buses with compact, mid-size, accessible vehicles. And we have the solution, the vicinity bus. Currently, most transit fleets are made up of 40-foot buses. When a need arose for buses to go into suburban residential areas, the community shuttle bus was born. Initially, these buses were cheaper van-style delivery trucks converted to accommodate 20 to 24 passengers. They have steps in the front, which make it difficult for seniors and those who are mobility challenged to enter. Passengers in wheelchairs are hoisted in by way of a hydraulic cage through a set of rear doors. With limited capacity, limited seating to take standees, if the van cutaway is at full capacity, four people must get off for each wheelchair person that gets on. Very degrading for everyone involved. So transit authorities, led through BC Transit, TransLink and Ottawa Transit, went to the industry with an RFI, requesting someone to design and manufacture a true mid-size community shuttle bus. The larger manufacturers weren't interested, so we approached BC Transit and entered into a strategic partnership to develop the vicinity bus. The vicinity bus is now a proven product. Transit authorities wanted a bus that worked and performed like a 40-foot bus. It had to be accessible, reliable, safe, compact, and able to fit into a residential neighborhood. But most of all, it had to be affordable. Market competition to build a competing product is low. The larger manufacturers were not interested in developing a mid-sized bus. All had backlogs for 40-foot models, and their factories were running at 100% capacity. It would take building new factories and a large commitment of R&D funds and up to five to seven years to prove out concepts. Many North American manufacturers have tried to build a 30-foot by removing 10 feet from the middle of a 40-foot, but there was no reduction in costs. No one wanted to purchase a 30-foot for the same price as a 40-foot. There are basically two types of transit vehicles in service today. You've got the large 40-foot models, which have passenger capacity of 60 to 70, built for a 12-year lifespan, costs around $500,000, ideally suited for congested city applications, but cannot fit into a residential area. They're just too big. And then comprising of approximately 20% of the transit fleets across Canada are the small cutaway buses. They have high operating costs, considered low quality, life limited to two to five years, and costing on an average of $160,000 to $220,000 a piece. Limited seating, 20 to 24 passengers maximum. They have two to four steps for entry, 
so very poor accessibility. They look and feel like a Class C motorhome and built on a truck chassis. And now there's the vicinity. It fits in between both sizes. We have a passenger capacity of 40. It's a high quality, built for a 12-year life, looks and operates like a 40-foot bus with great accessibility. It has low operating costs and fits into the community. And it's the perfect vehicle to feed passengers or feed passengers into the trunk lines. Transit is an extreme duty application. Buses need to operate 65,000 kilometers per year or more. It takes two cutaways to achieve the life cycle equal to one vicinity. Our five-year uh, five achievements to date, initial founders, including myself, invested over $3 million to design and manufacture and certify the vicinity. We have secured overseas manufacturing arrangements, whereas we build on order and we have no factory costs. We've successfully completed and tested all of our certifications. We've brought in orders, 3.8 million with BC Transit, 3.8 million in the Eastern with Quebec and Nova Scotia orders, and we hired the best to market our vicinity bus. We've completed our initial IPO, and we've actually raised over 8.2 million to date. So, what is the market opportunity? Well, there's approximately 18,000 transit buses in operation across Canada alone. Over 1,800 are replaced each year. Given that cutaways have a lifespan of five years, this equates to a market size of about 700 buses in our target area. This is, what, this is with replacing the cutaways and some 40-foot buses that are operating underutilized. Transit is government funded and everyone is politically under pressure to be more efficient and bring in cost savings. You just have to look and notice how many 40-foot buses you see operating in your area with less than 10 passengers on board. Now imagine a 30-foot vicinity on this route. This is what the industry calls right-sizing the fleet. In an average transit fleet, this equates, this right-sizing equates to saving millions per year. There is a real demand for the vicinity. We know we're on the road providing what the industry's been demanding for over a decade. Canadian sales are coming, and we do plan to be in the uh, United States by the end of 2016. This next slide is a map showing the number of buses in operation across Canada. We hired the best in the industry to help us get sales in these areas. We hired John Mark Landre. He was VP of sales with Novabus. Novabus is in the top three bus manufacturers in North America. He is responsible for growth of over one billion and increasing their market share from 15% to over 50% and holding it in Canada. He has an incredible Rolodex. Jean-Marc in his first year has reached out, visited, presented our solution to all of these transit operations across Canada and their response is overwhelming. Market awareness has been accomplished. This will equate to sales. The public tender process takes time. You first need to bring the solution forward and then you have to have it written into a tender. Many agencies are still purchasing under old tender contracts. We're confident we're gonna see some sales coming in, and when we do, the tenders are for multi-year contracts. Transit authorities do not go out for tender each year. We've already won some tenders, and now these will become yearly reorders. They're really, to us, there really isn't any other choice. We save over 40% in fuel over a 40-foot bus. We operate for less per kilometer than cutaways, you need to purchase two cutaways to span the same life as one vicinity. So how do we do it? We do it by making a vicinity affordable with quality and cost savings. Our business model is simple. We source North American supported high quality parts, parts that the transit authorities already know and are time tested and proven in their operations. We containerize these and ship these parts overseas. There, under manu manufacturing contracts, we have our vicin vicinity assembled under our strict quality control management. This process with shipping included saves us approximately $100,000 per bus. 
This is how we become a very cost-effective product and the solution. We are truly engaged in world trade and we're reaping the benefits. So why assemble in China? Well, why not assemble in China? North American bus manufacturers were not interested as their production lines were too busy. We canvassed Asian manufacturers and found Ya Sing, which is part of the WeChai group, who has a highly skilled workforce and previously manufactured Mercedes-Benz buses under a joint venture. And currently custom manufactured for Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Israel, and others. We do similar as what Apple states on the back of their iPhones. Designed and engineered by Grand West in Canada, assembled in China. We utilize the high quality skills in China for labor intense work to build items like the frame you see on the bottom here. They fit the body parts and assemble the North American components. This is a photo of a full monocoque cage construction that you see at the bottom of this slide. This is normally only found on a 40 foot bus. This is the heart of our structure and it's labor intense to assemble. Container shipping has opened up global trade. A container from China to North America costs approximately $3,000. And they all end up in, on the West Coast. Shipping from Vancouver back to China averages about $1,500, as most containers are shipped back empty. We are truly engaged in global business, and it's very cost effective. And why do all the transit authorities, passengers, and maintenance stuff love the vicinity? Because it's an affordable vehicle. Costs almost half as much as a 40-foot bus, has lower operating costs, extremely low life cycle costs, it has easy access for maintenance, and it saves money, it fits into their budget. The vicinity is very accessible. It has an easy access ramp, kneeling capability, it's bright and roomy seating, can accommodate up to 14 standees, which helps increase ridership. The vicinity is an innovation. It offers all the features of a 40-foot bus with the compact size of a cutaway. Aircraft insulation achieves the lowest decibel ratings. Independent front suspension offers easy turning radius, handling, and superior maneuverability. We're the only bus manufacturer to actually include a dehumidifier to keep the windows fog-free. Drivers love it, and the passengers now are actually requesting it. The sales process. This is really the heart of our business model. Transit authorities generally give a deposit on the order. We provide a 25% deposit to our assembler to start the assembly contract. Our assembler purchases our source parts, we put them together and ship them overseas to assemble our vicinity buses. When completed, we ship back and our payment terms are net 90 days. Shipping usually takes 30 days. Within 30 days after arrival, we've prepped and delivered to the customer. The customer pays on delivery and then we pay our assembler within 90 day terms. This transaction actually makes us cash flow positive. You couple this up with, we build on demand, we have no factory costs, no large unionized workforce. It's just a great efficient business model. Here's our capitalization chart. We actually uh, have about 40 million shares outstanding. 40% are actually internally held. Just over 45 million uh, fully diluted. In 2014, we actively marketed and demonstrated the vicinity. We've secured orders across the country. We've increased sales and marketing to show our long-term commitment to the marketplace. And we're in the process of US certifications and planning on US marketing strategies. We're providing the highest level of customer satisfaction and we're receiving glowing reports for those who now operate the vicinity buses. We've been improving gross margins through efficiency, strong supplier relations, and this is very important as our part sales are growing with each new order. In summary, we've seen 7.5 million, over 7.5 million in order, uh, revenue from our initial orders. We now have 31 buses in operation. Market is growing for our mid-sized vicinity buses. We produce a high quality Canadian product we're seeing increased sales opportunities now that the vicinity is on the road. And we have an experienced, committed management team who are all shareholders, invested shareholders of the company. We focused on Canadian sales and we should see results coming shortly. We're a great investment opportunity 
and we're in the process of putting orders on the scoreboard. They are coming. Thank you.